how much battery does camp mode drain? That is what we're going to find out. So it's currently, oh, excuse me for the terrible light and focus, but it is currently half one in the morning and I am in the Tesla, haven't had camp mode on all day. We've got, let me change this to percent, at least you can see miles, let's do miles first. So we've got 155 miles of ch charge and 50% battery left. So what we're gonna do, run this ex easy experiment, is we're gonna turn on camp mode and for all you guys wanting to know the best tips for camp mode what we typically do is turn off auto so the AC is still on still got it coming through the front vents and down at your feet I think that's what that is so what we're gonna do now that it's on auto we're gonna turn the fan speed down to one that's the lowest that will go obviously um, we've got auto air circulation here, I think, so that means it's recirculating the air, and then that means it's not, and that means it is. So, by default, it looks like when you go on camp mode, if we turn that off, so you can see it's on auto anyway, it must have switched, but we go camp mode, still auto, turn off auto overall, and it still is on auto, so it might recirculate the air, it might not, I don't think it will, it sounds like it's pulling in fresh air. Like I said, we're just going to turn that down to one per one span speed. So yes, 50% um, charge, we'll see what it's at when we wake up. And I just got chased by two badgers here in Guardsville Farm, so that was an interesting night, I haven't had that before. Anyway. Good night, we'll see you in the next clip, we will see what percentage this is at. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do not have, if we go to charging, I do not have the keep accessory power on, so that will not be on for this experiment. I don't have the fridge plugged in. So yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep. Alright, maybe that's better actually, turned off those lights. I just realised I didn't tell you guys what the temperature is that I've set it to. So, as you can see there, I've set to 20 degrees Celsius. So, that's what we're going to keep it at for the remainder of this experiment. So, I'll update you on what time we wake up at or what time I stop the experiment. And we'll see how much battery gets drained typically it's one to two percent per hour so we'll see what happens so it is the next morning as you can tell the lovely sleep here in the tesla model y beautiful views out to the perthshire countryside and as you can tell there's a wee spot of rain during the night and there's no condensation zero condensation on the glass so camp mode worked flawlessly so let's see how much battery did it drain with the ac on as well so we're currently at 902 so i think it was 131 when we went to bed so what's that i'm terrible with maths but seven and a half hours roughly 45 percent I'm pretty sure it was at 50% when we went to sleep. So 45%, 138 miles. So 5% in seven hours. That's not even 1% per hour. So fantastic. The, I forgot to mention last night, the ambient temperature. So it was 15 degrees just now. Um, probably would have dropped down to, I don't know, maybe 10 degrees is, is at max at the coldest last night. I don't think it would have went any less than that. I can't remember what it was when we actually went to bed, but I'll put that footage up just now of what it was when we went to bed. But yeah, worked perfectly. You can see camp mode is still engaged. 20 degrees, uh, AC's on, we turned off auto, 
fan speed set to one, like I recommended. It's enough airflow, but it's still quiet. And yeah, just worked absolutely perfectly. So cannot complain about that. So there you go. And um, in these conditions, at least, camp mode used hardly any of the battery, you know, like less than 1% per hour. So that is fantastic. And I had a very, very comfortable sleep. Thanks to this, let me just show you snoozer mattress so i've slightly um let some air out of it actually recently um just to make it a wee bit more comfortable for me just because it was qu quite firm which isn't a bad thing if you like a firm sleep but this i wouldn't even call this a camping mattress i would say this is genuinely like a mattress you would get at home you just Put it out, press the inflate button, it automatically inflates. You then press the button to turn it off if you need to. And then you can press this button to deflate it. Like I said, you can use this little pressure release valve to release some air. And this thing is amazing. It is honestly, it's like a mattress you would get at home. This is actually, this is just as good if not better than our mattress at home and we do have a really nice mattress at home it's not that we have a terrible mattress but this snoozu mattress is just fantastic and i've got some views out to the the woods there as well so if you want um if you're interested in this mattress go check it out if you do decide to purchase it use the code uh, the greens all lowercase the greens remember that it's green with an e at the end the greens put it on the um, video just now use that code to get some money off your snoozu mattress highly recommend it if you want the most comfortable sleep and have insane support i mean there's no there's no headrest extender here no headrest extender at all and this is i believe this is the tallest camping mattress tesla camping mattress on the market uh, it's like two meters 205 i think it is uh, yeah, this thing is, it's, it's a lot of money, but believe me, if you want the most comfortable sleep, I highly recommend it. This is, like I said, I wouldn't even call this a camping mattress. This is a, this is a real mattress. This is like taking a, the hotel on wheels. Like this is next level and you get to enjoy views like this. So the benefits of Tesla, Tesla camp mode, unreal i'm still alive there's been no co2 build up <laughs> for anyone worried about having to crack windows i've not opened any windows at all and in all honesty it's probably been more ventilated in here for me than it has been for rebecca in the little cabin um that we're staying at here in guardswell you can see he's got the little grass roof up there as well um a better shot there you can see it so yeah guess that concludes the experiment we we'll need to run this experiment in a, a warmer climate to see what it's like obviously it will have to work a bit harder potentially to keep you know 20 degrees celsius in here if it's warmer outside but five percent in seven and a half hours can't complain so happy days that was some pretty shocking results, I would say. Not what I expected. So 5% of battery drain using camp mode with the AC on in 7.5 hours. And normally we say the rule of thumb is between 1-2% to per hour. So this completely bucks that trend. Very, very efficient use of camp mode there. So why is that the case? Why did we only use 5% in those circumstances? And... I think it all really comes down to temperature and energy usage you know if we just look at the fundamentals here i am no expert on these topics so i'm just giving you my opinion here but i think we can all agree that that's probably the reason that we had such efficient energy consumption using camp mode there so if you think about it the ambient temperature outside when i went to sleep was i think it was 14 degrees celsius it was 15 degrees Celsius when I woke up. So that's the exterior temperature. The interior temperature of the Tesla cabin that we set it to was 20 degrees Celsius. So there's only a five degrees difference there. 
and essentially the car has to obviously not use the AC so much because what it can do is just pull in the air from outside and just warm up that air. It doesn't need to actually cool it down. And when the battery is actually being used, it gives off heat. That's one of the um, sort of parts of energy that, that gets dissipated from the actual battery is heat. It's a byproduct of the battery um, in use. It's the same as uh, internal combustion uh, engine as well. They put out a lot of heat. It's essentially a, a big fire that you're driving around with, a big controlled fire. That's why it's called internal combustion engine. And yeah, it just so happens that, you know, the Tesla, I think it's got an octo valve or some fancy thing like that, where it's able to uh, basically use some of the heat um, generated from the battery and it can obviously put that back into the cabin and another reason is just the simple fact of body temperature as well so when you sleep at night your body is going to emit um, temperature as well it's going to emit energy and because we're in a nice kind of enclosed space here and, and it's really well insulated it's going to trap a lot of that heat so i'm actually helping by generating some heat to keep it at that 20 degrees as well so yeah i think that's why it was so efficient if you compare it to our european road trip especially when we were staying in italy uh, i can't remember the exterior temperatures at night when we were sleeping but they definitely were not at 15 14 degrees celsius they they would have been much higher than that so in that circumstance the car would have had had to make use of the ac and it's going to draw more energy but really in those kind of like average conditions you know average conditions for summer here in scotland versus say average conditions on a summer in italy if you've got the temperature set to 20 degrees it's not going to pull a lot of power i think max you're looking at maybe two percent per hour but yeah it'd be really interesting to run this experiment again in a warmer climate and see what the difference is and also change the target temperature as well but i think for most people they're going to set it somewhere between 18 to 23 degrees whether you like to sleep hot or cold so yeah very interesting experiment obviously minimize touching the screen that's going to save some battery as well but again the amount of use uh, battery being drained from using the screen is probably fairly minimal even with the um like accessory uh, power being enabled if you did enable that if you're running a fridge or something like that if you're running like the same fridge we have the you homey fridge it's energy rated a so if you're using that on the 12 volt it's not going to pull a lot of power so yeah i think it's just amazing how efficient camp mode actually is it's such a great feature and i think it's really underutilized by a lot of people who don't actually think about going camping in their tesla and really if you really wanted to offset that usage what you could do is if you're at a campsite if you've got the universal mobile connector or universal mobile charger i think one or the other same thing basically all it is is it plugs into your um charge port on the tesla and it basically has a normal socket so it'll be a three pin socket if you're in the uk be whichever other socket you get in the us and the eu and yeah you could just essentially have electric hookup at the campsite plug into your extension reel and then you could change the amount of amps that you're pulling as well and that's just going to trickle charge overnight and that is going to offset your camp mode usage if you are going to do that one tip i would say is speak to the campsite let them know what you're going to do let them know how much amps you're going to pull and just make sure that they're okay with that because some of these campsites they might not be set up to pull i can't remember off the top of my head how many amps max you can pull i think it's maybe 10 amps on the uh, umc universal mobile connector or charger whatever it is but you can obviously dial that down on the app as well so just be honest um about it you don't want to you know have a bad relationship with the people at the campsite you don't want to be hit with any unexpected fees you don't want to cause their electricity to trip out and annoy your neighbors and annoy the whole campsite so just double check if you are thinking about trick trickle charge and i think honestly is the best policy here 
But yeah, that is essentially how much AC, uh, sorry, how much battery drain there is when you use AC with Tesla camp mode. And we'll do another update to this video when we do get a chance to camp in a warmer climate. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see our full sort of like gear checklist, essential Tesla camping items, maybe you've not camped in your Tesla yet, or maybe you have, but you're looking to upgrade your setup, go and watch the video over here. You can also download our full gear checklist there. And I'll also link the gear checklist in the video description of this video as well. See ya.